Sunday night, so you know what that means. Welcome to the Garage Apartment. Sports and entertainment with your favorite partners, favorite partners. I am the Funky Militant, Adar Jones. And as always, I got the tribe with me. So let the listeners know who you are. My boy, my Mizzle up in here. Be mad, back and better than ever. Yes, indeed. We are here each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 Central Standard Time. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And check out our website, thegarageapt.com. Got some incredible stuff on there. We have articles. We have interviews. We have previous shows. We have uh, things to all of your likings. You can also download the app, 92KELZ. Go to your Google Play or your App Store. Type in 92KELZ and push play. New artists, new music, new sound. And of course, the Garage Apartment. You can hit us up live at 832 413 2013. Again, that's 832. 832- 413-2013 Fellas How was your holiday first off? Well, matter of fact, let's do this the right way Happy anniversary, fellas Oh, oh see, this is as it is One year <laughs> right? One year Absolutely. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. On this Very day, much. exactly one year ago, the garage apartment was born. Well, actually, it wasn't born. Oh, wow. Look at there. I don't even. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Ah. You know, the, day, the garage apartment, which you did in But the show, the garage apartment, started. Ah, there you go. Look at you. You follow instructions quite well, sir. Yeah, what's up? What's happening? So there you go. There's the, Happy the last. Anniversary. Happy, Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, brother. Oh, really? Is that what this? Uh, is that what this is? <laughs> wow. You see, I, it was I, December third. It was December third. No, we started on December first, homeboy. Yeah, we started Saturday, our, so. December first, because we were showing uh, the Deontay the Wilder and Tyson Fury. Fight. Good to see you again. That is beautiful. Absolutely, man. Well, I'm glad I finally called in. I'm glad I got that notification that the phone number changed. Who'd you get the? F- <laughs> oh, it came. It came to you. No. Either. The Facebook, yeah, the Facebook page said the garage department updated their phone number. Oh, well, check that out. Check it out, indeed. You learn something every day. Yes, we do. Anyway, so and, and for those of you who don't know, that is a mod. So, so the gang's all here. The gang's all here. Uh, man, where you want to start, man? We got to talk about the craziness that is the Aaron Pryor situation. The Terrell Pryor. Excuse me. Yeah, Aaron Pryor is a boxer. Yeah, the, the Terrell. Pryor. <laughs> the Terrell Pryor. The Terrell Pryor situation. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Terrell Pryor was stabbed. Uh, and was in critical condition. Wow. However, while in critical condition, condition, he was also arrested and charged yeah. with assault. And he drove and walked himself into the hospital. And his girlfriend was right. charged with attempted murder. Yeah, I know. Ain't that crazy? But so is she? Doesn't that trump in that offsetting penalty? <laughs> I mean, but you know, all the penalties too. just means everybody go home and we try to get He got arrested the because night. he beat the girl up. Yeah, he, apparently he did a little bit. They, the cops are saying that they were mutual combatants, but there is no okay. reason for the altercation on the. They're not even investigating. Arrest order. They're, they're not, not investigating. They just made charges and it is what it is. I mean, yeah, they got to be investigating something. They said not yet. Well, how they got charges? 
I, I, well, they're they're investigating like the why he was stabbed and everything. Well, you said he wasn't investigating it yet. On it says the reason for it says the right original here. altercation. On police, the Pittsburgh Bureau of Police understands there is a heightened level of interest in this case, but police will not be conducting interviews or holding a news conference at this time. First off, I didn't even know Terrell oh, Pryor. I didn't know Terrell Pryor was no longer in the league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Well, I still fairly recognize so. that after he got stabbed. Right. It's weird how, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's weird how you just lose people. Yeah. Because they, they were like, they were like, NFL free agent Terrell Pryor. Right, but what on the headline I read it said ex NFL player. I was like, wait, Terrell Pryor's not in the league. <laughs> Man, really? Was he? Really I know, good? right? Was he really a good wide receiver? I mean, he's serviceable considering how big he is. Wow, okay. Serviceable. Hey, sometimes <laughs> they, you need serviceable. They couldn't even get open. They never threw him the ball. He's no, a Washington possession Post. receiver. He's a possession receiver. Terrell Pryor didn't use his yeah. name or something. Uh, they, the cops found out that it was him because they followed the trail of blood from the hospital door <laughs> to his Mercedes. To his Benz. Mercedes Benz. Yeah, and I saw it was that. Registered there, and um, they were taking the lady to the headquarters. When multiple times the other, it was three ladies that were involved. The other complaints were saying yeah. she was defending herself and had to do it. Another one. You know, it's weird because that's like that. That's like that trail of blood that Mark Furman found going to O.J. Bronco. Is it? Yeah, you just <laughs> that blood up. <laughs> is it? I, I mean, I imagine Terrell is I with a nobody else saw. Is it with a sister? Early in the evening, the couple had gone out probably and not. began to argue. I know probably. the name was kind of was crazy. He was waiting for them in the hallway when they returned to the apartment, according to the complaint. Prior alleged yeah, her name is Shalaya. He grabbed Briston and a tussle yeah. as Shalaya. Yeah, Shalaya or something like the Briston. Tussle and grabbed Shalaya. her and tussle as the complaint described it began. That's when Prior, clutching his chest, ran from the building. Briston had a bruise yep, on her nose black. and was missing two false fingernails. Who, Shalaya? Oh, uh, Yeah, the, his girl. <clears throat> yeah, she's black. Says they have been dating for about a, been dating for about a year. And witnesses yeah, have black told them it was there. a volatile relationship. Uh, which which was go, brings brings a question to mind. What they be doing at old state? <laughs> no, nah, not even that. Just on a more serious tip, like, is this shit not getting old? I mean, like why why are why are athletes not all athletes seems to be a propensity for it to come from a certain sport why are athletes what why why and not even athletes let me let me make it even more broad why are people why do they continue to keep people in their lives who are toxic I don't understand that either like why do you have such toxic such toxic people in your lives. If you are in a volatile, I mean, it a if it, it, it'd be different if this was a, a isolated incident, which 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 seems to be a severe isolated incident. But they said that they get into it all the time. It's a volatile relationship. Why do you keep people like that in your lives? I'm talking about both ways, not just Terrell, Shalea too. Why do you keep people in your lives that are toxic? Why do people well, do it's that? All fun and games. Until somebody gets passed. Mm. You know? Yes, yeah, mm. like so, controversies. I mean, I mean, if you answer that question, to die, you know, you'd be a trillionaire. I know, it's right? It's fun. I'm looking at Shalea right here. Mm -hmm. What's she know? look like? I can get it. I understand. <laughs> uh, she's quite a bit younger than him, too, I would, I, I would reckon. Yeah, let me uh, so... And he's a young dude himself. So uh, she was born in '96. Wow! Wow! Yeah. One of the boys. Huh? Which is kind of yeah. So, so she's a bit younger than him too. Uh, yeah, not that much younger. Well, yeah, seven years younger. 
Uh, I don't know because because I, I I never knew he was from Pennsylvania either. And so yeah, oh, yeah, I, I remember that. Yeah, because yeah. supposed to. But yeah, man, state. it's a it's a sad situation, isn't it? It's horrible, <laughs> man. It's it's ridiculous. It really is. I mean, but at least you know. So he, I mean, he he was healthy enough for him to throw the cuff on him. He cuff him to that hospital bed, so at least he'll be okay. Yeah, they say he's gonna pull through. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I mean, but dude's getting stabbed by their girlfriend is old. That's the old enough. I mean, ain't this like one well, no, the other? What with McNair got shot by his girl? That what he that was his side. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was that his was side chick. Yeah, Mc McNair still think he's. I mean, I mean, actually, that was his main girl because he was living with her. He wasn't living with the wife. Yeah, he was staying over there. That was the problem. His wife was living in Mississippi or somewhere. And Pryor's car was a black semi-automatic pistol on the front passenger seat. And there was also a Glock with a flashlight. Right, so it, even if, with, if crazy as it, as it ended up being, it could have been much worse. Like, this could have been extremely tragic. It could be people dead. Thank God something intervened and, 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 and I would say cooler heads prevail, but how cool get his head if somebody gets stabbed? According to the complaint, witnesses were overheard at the hospital saying we should have just let him die. They describe a very volatile relationship between Pryor and Briston. Witnesses said to police he has always has his, he always has his hands all over her. Oh my goodness. What she want what she wants you to ask her so bad, man. So <laughs> nothing. I, just, I mean, I don't know. I'm sorry, this I this is just a sad, whole sad situation. I'm glad he was a free agent already because it sounds like this might be a He would have been a free agent during. after this. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess. He can go back to uh, Old State and sign some autograph. Left handed. <laughs> that wow. That was too that was, uh, I mean, but, I mean, I don't know. Right. I mean, it leaves you with it. It's just sad. It's just sad. Like it's not even funny. It's just sad. Like when you first hear about it, it's like, oh no, what happened? It's crazy. But then when you do your research, it's just yeah. But once you find out everybody's gonna live, it's funny again. <laughs> Is it though? Oh, yeah. Funnier. I'm just, I'm, I'm just playing, man. I mean, I know I'm you are, but it's kind of like, man, this, this is old, man, and and and, or maybe I'm just getting old. Like, I don't want that kind of stress in my life. Why do people want that in their lives, man? There's no way that it's fun when you're at risk of dying. <laughs> What's fun about at risk of dying? I'd like to believe he never really thought. <laughs> she would stab him. Didn't you know wake up. Didn't wake up. He, he planted he the hole in your knee. Beforehand, you know. It's like I, I woke know. up this morning. I think I'm gonna get a hole in my chest and my shoulder you know what what and get arrested while I do. Man, I, I was just, I mean, these football players, bro. Like they literally. And there's got to be insult to injury there when they come in there with the cuffs and cuff you to the hospital bed. Right. After you get out of ICU. Yeah, that's bad. I mean, you talk about insult to injury. <laughs> Poor guy. Okay. That's all right. We're going to keep it moving. Ah, there he is. He's hey, who's going to take me home? Who's going to take me home? I'll take you. Come on, Will. We gonna exactly. Do all right. Good man. Because I'm about to get dropped off. I was going to say, we're going to do this on the air. We're going to do this on the air. Oh, no, like, oh, we're no. on the air. That's we're not We're not talking to each other at oh, the house. We're the on the air, it's ladies the and gentlemen. Apartment, man. It's that 615. Boy. You're listening to the garage apartment. That's right. We are here each and every Sunday. about to get dropped off. <laughs> we are here each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 Central Standard Time. Well, most of us are. Some of us are <laughs> never here at 6 to 7 Central Standard oh, yeah, Time. Anyway. Anyway, you're right. Don't be that way. I'm always there. Oh, okay. You're right. Sometimes. In spirit. That counts, too. That and does voice. count. Anyway, be sure to check us out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And check out our website, thegarageapt.com. You can also hit us up live at 832-413-2013. So, Staying on the NFL, 
the playoff picture is starting to shape up. Uh, Big game tonight. We Big had playoff game tonight. Yes, we had an exciting marquee game today between the San Francisco 49ers and the MVPs. Baltimore Ravens. The which Baltimore was actually was a pretty MVPs. it was a pretty entertaining game considering considering the weather conditions and that it was a pretty well played game. I imagine I was anticipating a much more sloppy game. And it was not. The field held up pretty good. The conditions did not affect the game as much as I would imagine it would have. And yeah, I mean, it's a lot of running, though. So I didn't really expect to <laughs> hurt Baltimore in any shape, form, or fashion. And San Francisco is the number two rushing team in the league. Right, but, like, you didn't see any so, players slipping or anything. No, well, yeah, I mean, good ground. Oh, you I mean, saw people shit. slipping. It was only maybe one or that two fumbles. I saw angles. what? That's I saw two. <laughs> you saw people slipping. <laughs> <laughs> see, like, considering the way that Jamal, Jamal, what's his name? Lamar. Wow, you are I, so yeah, bad with that. I am terrible. I, the crazy part is I, I used to didn't be that bad. I Jamal, really didn't. You just inserted any black name. <laughs> the way words. that, no, wow. That that's not true Jamal, at all, Jackson. I mean, Jamal is pretty. Considering the way that Lamar like Jackson, Jamal. considering the way that Lamar Jackson <laughs> plays, his game is not conducive for bad weather. And the fact that he was able to still be as effective as he was with his 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 cuts I, I and his. I was gonna say, why is it not conducive to bad weather? Because the way he runs, you have to. Run, that's not made for bad weather. That's not made for a wet field. What? On a wet field, you have to run more. No, on a wet field, you have to run more flat-footed. You have to wear. But he would have the advantage over the defense on that wet field, even if he's not at a say what if at hundred. What if he knows how to run on water? See, sometimes you just say stuff. I uh, know, just derail. <laughs> I just like, what are you talking about? I mean, I think his I game mean, is that. perfect for bad weather because he runs and he's faster than most, so he's not necessarily around a lot of people. And when he throws the ball, he tends to throw the ball to wide open receivers due to the scheme and his running ability, I guess, which is the whole point. Um, so I think it's perfect for that. He doesn't really throw the ball down the field. He might take one or two deep shots that the weather would affect. Otherwise, it's going to them 19 tight ends they got, and he's running the ball. <laughs> Garoppolo at least has to get the ball to Kim Folk every once in a while. Yes. Emmanuel Sanders. Yes, and, and, and he tried. <laughs> they connected quite a few times. Yeah. Um, what else? What else? What San else? San Francisco, hold on. Let's not need that, though. So, at this point in time, I have honestly been just saying, because San Francisco, they look good, but they really have no chance of doing anything in the playoffs. I think I've changed my mind. You've amended that, too. I think I've changed my mind. I'm not saying they are going better than Lamar Jackson and them and could win the Super Bowl or the Patriots or whoever else they see. Seattle, can they even beat Seattle if it comes down to I think they could beat Seattle. If not, they would dang sure give Seattle a game. They, they certainly run on anybody, and their defense is legit. I mean, they played them once. They can certainly beat Green Bay. Oh, man. They, they, <laughs> nah, they, <laughs> they, that low oh. Shot. <laughs> they, they can certainly beat Green Bay. Because I'm thinking about the top teams in the NFC. Bring them to Lambeau. Seattle. That's a different story. San Francisco. Bring Green Lambeau. Bay. And who else? Who was the other division? What? Minnesota? No. Who did you say? Yes, yeah, it's Minnesota. No, no Green, Green Bay is Bay. Green Bay. Green so, Bay. who's the other division? New Orleans. Down south. <laughs> they probably could beat New Orleans, too. They could beat New Orleans. Beat New, Orleans. New, Orleans. New Orleans is on the downside, for real. New Orleans yeah. definitely needs to they can't reevaluate score. some things. They can't score anymore. They only have that one wide receiver, which I don't know how that works. I mean, this man puts up numbers that are that haven't been put up before. Like I mean, they don't have only that wide receiver. Nah, they have. They, they, they have. That's how they play. They have a running back tandem that opens up the passing game. Yeah, they surely don't get. The they ball. have. They have a receiver they that can take off the top of the defense and Ted Ginn. Sometimes. He surely doesn't get the receiver. ball. Receiver. Yes. Oh. <laughs> to be a receiver. <laughs> Got a track star out there. 
<laughs> so, so as a runner, <laughs> he has a clear outer. Hey, <laughs> he, he it catches out. it sometimes. Yes, if it's five. thrown to him, it's not even. Well, the, most the receivers is, catch balls that are thrown to them. They certainly don't Michael catch Thomas balls that are kicked a, to them. Michael Thomas has a, what 120 catches right yes. now. Yes, he does. Some absurd number. And the next one is like 40. That's they offensive scheme. I'll probably say that's. And guess who doesn't have back. forty? Listen, Ted Ginn. Football is actually a very simple game. It ain't that simple. People, it should people, be this people simple. complicated with all of these, you know, blah, blah 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 extra schemes and this, that, and the other. But you always want to keep the ball in the hands of your best player. Michael Thomas is their best player. Some would argue Alvin Kamara is their best player. I Those are the so. two people. That they make sure the ball stays in their hands. Yeah, I do, he don't know. Kamara don't trust me. But that's lack I know by experience too. this year, they have not that, given him the That's because Alvin Kamara is not healthy Past this six year. weeks, he hasn't been looking to. He is not healthy. Alvin Kamara is out there playing hurt. Oh, my goodness. Denver is up 20 to 17 with 19 seconds left. And guess who has the ball with a chance to win it yet again? Who is he that? He gonna throw a pick. Philip Rivers. He gonna throw a pick. I swear it's like the last ten weeks. But oh this yeah, man has had a and chance you know to what? win this game. I'm and glad you it. said that because to me he is highly, 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 highly. I don't understand why people give him a pass. They try to hold him as he's the, 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 the he's a, a Hall of Famer, great whoop whoop man. Philip Rivers has never a been. Hall of Famer. He is the greatest quarterback you've seen not to win a uh, – in, in, that you've seen. Uh, in this man, era, not again, to win a Super Bowl. I thank you. Again, considering the era. But that's okay. When you're you in an era, you time. can't help but put up stats when you're you throwing the him, ball 60 times a game. I mean, but he ain't throw the ball 60 times a game with LT. But, no, you, throw, you threw the ball. You put him up with Gentlemen. Aaron Rodgers, who you're saying is in the Hall of Fame. Gentlemen. Tom Brady, they're all throwing it 45 times a game. You put them with them. Yeah, but they also can win games. Philip Rivers does not win you games. What 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 what, what winning what winning win drives have you seen Philip Rivers go? Oh, speaking of which, they just tied the game up. He just tied a drive. Just tied the game up. What 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 games yeah. have you seen Philip Rivers go win? I have never seen Philip Rivers go win anything, but I have seen Philip Rivers lose everything. Well, then you're not watching because he doesn't come out here and is 0 for 16. No, I'm talking about him winning the games. I'm saying he wins. Like the people you named. Those quarterbacks go win games when they have the ball late in the game. And Philip Rivers does not go the win the games when he has the ball late in the game. He does not. And when you look at his overall record, I, it, it's pretty bad because he does not go win games. He, he, he's got to be either 500 or less than 500. And if he is over 500, it's only by a very small amount I of numbers. He had the, well, I mean, them years, they, was on the, on the, they were the West. They were good. They had one season, they went 14-2. and two. Well, they should have beat the Patriots, and they didn't. And then after that, yeah. they like eight, 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 no. eight. Man, they got eight wins. With they, LT, they were always on. LT, go look at how many uh, eight win Antonio seasons. Gates. Yeah, and uh, your uh, look uh, at how many eight win seasons Philip Rivers has. Lately? He has quite a few. No, I mean, no, 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 no. He has quite a few eight and eight seasons. He has quite a few kids. <laughs> <laughs> He has quite a few eight and eight seasons. I don't understand why he gets all the credit that he gets. He doesn't win anything. Because nobody okay, was so doing well in Oakland. This is or... just his stats. I haven't gotten to the team wins because it's a team game. But his stats. And came in in 2004. We're not going to count that he played one game. So 2005, he was. Nope, played not that many either. 2006, he was 61% completion percentage. 3,000 yards, 22 touches, 9 interceptions, 92%. Uh, what's it called? The, uh, 92 pass rate? No, the, yeah, the QB rating. QBR? Um, now, there's a lot of 8 and 8s and 9 and 7s on this. Oh, yeah. I'm no, trying to tell you, man. There's a lot of 8 8s and 9 and 7s on there. But my thing is that that is a team game. The man that sat here and has had 22 and 9, 21 and 15, 34 and 11, 28 and 9, 30 and 13. 27 and 20, 27 and 15, 32 and 11. And the year Sean 18, Merriman got hurt. 13. This is intercept, touchdown and interception. The year Sean Merriman got hurt, that really hurt their season. 3,000 yards, 3,000, 4,000, 4,000, 47, 46, 
like the initial statement was Matt Schaub is trash. Philip Rivers is not. At the end of the games, he can't go win you a game. Because your first statement was once again for the last what ten eight weeks, weeks he's had row. an opportunity to win the game. Now out of those ten eight, weeks, though. I know he's not over eight. Well, what is he? What's the, what's their record? Losing. They have a losing record. That's a good they're record. Four and seven. Their record is losing. <laughs> I think they're four and seven. They're four and not. seven, which means he won four. He's won four. I mean, it's been like this literally the last ten weeks. Right. He's been what in I'm a saying. Seven, a seven so point when he's had the, when he's, he's had the ball last, when he's had the ball last, what games has he gone and won with the ball last? None. I don't recall this season. The math doesn't add up. I say when he has the ball last. You said he's had the ball last the past 10 weeks. Not last. He's been in a seven. He's lost by seven points the last 10 weeks. Okay, well, now that's something different. So he's had the ball either last or before he gave it up for them to have the ball last. Okay, so in the last 10 weeks, what, does, what, what have they gone in the last 10 weeks? Four and seven. That's 11 games. So what have they gone in the last Four ten weeks? Four and six. <laughs> they just lost the last game. What did they? What? What they didn't go so for and six? What did they win? Games, one and seven. They have been. I hadn't seen them win in a while. I haven't won, either. They lost two. The only time I seen them win is they played. The, they lost last week. They lost the week before. They won the week before that against the Packers. They yeah, won the week before it. that. Then they lost the week before that and lost the week before that and lost the week before that. And won so the week two before eight. that. So, so they, they two and eight by, the last ten weeks. They they won by, by uh, against the Dolphins, and then they have lost by seven to the Broncos, uh, three and four, seven to the Steelers, by three to the Titans, by one to the or one by one to the Bears, one by seven to the. Uh, sorry. So uh, the four Chiefs wins. People. So their four wins are against losing teams. Well, they're losing to and then and then right, but then you said in the last ten weeks he's had the ball, he's lost by seven or less. They're he lost two to and eight. The Chiefs. He they're lost by seven to the Chiefs. This is all I'm telling you. He lost by seven to the Chiefs. I actually he lost watched that two. game. That was a good game. He lost by Although two to he Oakland. Turned. He threw the ball. Well, he threw four interceptions against the Chiefs. Right. He lost by probably. He beat uh, the Packers. Lost uh, by four, 14. Beat the Bears by one. <laughs> Lost well, by lost three to the, the Titans. Lost by <laughs> they lost today. Yep. <laughs> he had the ball. He didn't have the ball last though because it's overtime, right? He definitely didn't have the ball. Now it wasn't overtime. Somehow the Broncos. With they just kicked the field goal left. with like fourteen seconds left. Yeah, yeah. Well, now, see, I won't hold it against them if his defense gives up the game. I won't hold that against them. I'm talking about when. He has the ball last. He does not go win games. He doesn't. In fact, I watch him throw many interceptions, especially this why season. Why did he score a touchdown on his last drive? Why did they have to kick it in ties? Because that's what they do. They play for ties. He wasn't about <laughs> to win the game. <laughs> so yeah, they Rivers, do. I agree with that. Phillip Rivers does not go and win games, man. Okay, so name some better quarterbacks in there. In his era, yeah. since he's been in, meaning his contemporaries, since yeah, he's been in the league. Basically, the players playing now. Well, first off, we can just name all the players who've won the Super Bowl. Okay, we know they're in the Hall of Fame. That would be a pointless no, thing to do. No, we can't, because one of them was traded for him at the draft. And Ivy, damn. Peyton Manning is, I mean, uh, uh, Eli Manning is better than Phillip Rivers. Oh, no, no, no. Eli Manning is better than Phillip Rivers. Yeah. Picks. That's all Eli does. Eli Manning is better than Phillip Rivers. The I'm only reason that, that. Phillip Rivers is, it, it, it doesn't have the same horrible record the last few years that Eli does is because Phillip Rivers plays in the AFC West, who sucks. So does the NFC East. Exactly, worse. but the Dallas Cowboys still dominate the NFC East. What you talking about, the NFC East? Two of the, the, what, the Eagles won the Super Bowl out of the NFC East. Okay. The AFC West has the number two team in the league. Yes, this year and last year. <laughs> this year, last year. Before that, what was it? What? The AFC West, man. It's always the only division top. worse than the AFC West is the AFC East. 
And we oh. know how. Though Rivers has played 20 fewer games, 212, than Eli Manning, 232. The Chargers quarterback has thrown more touchdowns, uh, 374 to 360, respectively, and 61 fewer interceptions, 178 to 239. And since winning is a primary metric, consider Rivers has posted a record of 118 and 90, while Eli Manning is barely over 500 at 116 and 114. Mm. So this man literally. Got how does this man? How, how is this man? And he didn't get Hall of Fame. Freaking that D line is the one that got him there. Yeah, Eli threw know. the ball up. It was a bad pass. Man, the please, you better, remember, you better remember. You better remember. You better remember Eli's first Super Bowl run. run. Notice how I, I said first. Pass, Notice how I said first Super Bowl run. You better remember Eli's first Super Bowl run. He was the reason they made it to the Super Bowl. Now I can't say he was the reason they won the Super Bowl, although he did throw a game-winning touchdown pass in the last minutes of the game, something that Phillip Rivers is not a c capable of doing. He won when he had the ball last. Thank you. <laughs> in the Super Bowl, talking about? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. In his career, no. Man, in his stop. Career, he's 500. Okay. So, he won, so man, fine. He so even, if I give you, even if I give you Eli's not, let's say everybody else who is. Aaron Rodgers, Peyton Manning, B uh, ben Roethlisberger, uh, 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 Ben Roethlisberger, Ben Roethlisberger, I mean Ben Roethlisberger, Ben Roethlisberger. They in all actuality, they the same player. Truth be told, that's, that's not better or equal to. What you want? Well, even to. okay, even if they are equal to, what puts Roethlisberger over the edge is he won two Super Bowls. On a better organization, a better team. What puts him over the edge? And so a, even if you say that Eli and Phillip Rivers are equal, what Rock puts Eli over the edge? He won two Super Bowls. I'm, saying, I'm not saying they're equal. I'm not saying they're equal. I, I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. Philip Rivers is by far. No, Philip Rivers. Do you watch Philip Rivers, man? Yes, Philip Rivers and loses and, and a lot and of games. All you're bringing up is one drive. You're no, bringing, you're not bringing up the whole 36 passes before for the 360. Yes, I am. You're not bringing yes, up. Yes, I the am. Fact and I'm talking about how playing with with career defenses with you know, extreme Since you like to look up with, stuff, with look up how many. I'm just saying the man puts up stats, bro. Look That's up how many. He has the control over. Look up how many three interception, four interception games he has in his career. He throws a lot of interceptions. I did, we just saw that he doesn't have as many interceptions as Eli Manning. My point is that he does not win you the games. And, and the whole thing, the whole reason. Is that he is the fifth best quarterback the last five years. You out your I mind. I mean, not the last five, last 12 years. You out your mind. You're out your mind. He's not better than Drew Brees. That's one. He's not better than Peyton Manning because he was in the league five years ago. He's not better than, than uh, 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 what's the boy, Tom Brady. Okay. He's not better than. Aaron thank you. He's not better than Aaron Rodgers. No, he's not better than Brett Favre. Well, Favre has been out the league more than five years. He played while Brett Favre was in the league. <clears throat> okay, so okay, we're gonna bring up all these other people. Then he's down to ten, but those people aren't in the Hall of Fame. Those he's not better than there. Cam Newton. Hey, he's better than Cam Newton. He's better than Cam Newton. Yeah. He's a better quarterback than Cam Newton. Oh, yeah. Yes. Your mind. How is he a better quarterback because than Cam Newton? Uh, he throws the ball better. He throws. Cam Newton did appear in the Super Bowl. And won an MVP. <laughs> and won an MVP. I'm just saying. Two shots. Philip Rivers Brady, is not Brady, the guy. Tony Romo, Drew Brees. Tony Jay Romo. Robert, Tony Robert, Romo's Robert better than Philip Rivers. Ben Roethlisberger, Philip Rivers. They got him as number eight on the Bleacher Report. He got to be lower than that. He's not top ten. I put in there since. If you don't say Tony Romo, he is equal no, he's to. he's top ten. He's equal to. He's better than Tony Romo. He's better than Tony he's Romo. Better than Tony. We're Romo. gonna put Tony. I Romo watched Tony in Romo go win games. I you, so 
I seen Tony Romo fumble. Sir, up. the reason you want the ball last is so your quarterback can go win you the game. If your yes, quarterback man, can't win I you the throw, game, then if I throw three passes and it's three drops, I ain't got nothing to do with that. But no, no, so you gonna make to do with that. so 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 nothing. When your quarterback doesn't win you the game, Give me you then case, say, which you did, I won your games. Give me uh, the best running back we done had in fifty to seven years, I won your games. Now you got Keenan Allen out here. <laughs> and what was the wide receiver? Who? Dude with the horse collar. With the horse collar? What are you talking about? His wide receiver. Who, Phillip Rivers? Yeah. Tall dude. He played for Tampa Bay, too. He was tight end. Oh, Vincent Jackson. Vincent Jackson. Bam. Oh, back then, yeah. See, that, that, that quad right there. That was an unbeatable quad right there. How was it unbeatable that it was beat? The only people that beat them were what in the in playoffs when all the four only of them people played? that beat them was their division. The Patri- was the Patriots in the playoffs? Tennessee. Remember they lost Tennessee one year. What else? They lost to Pittsburgh. They lost to. They've lost to quite a few teams in the playoffs. All Super Bowls. <laughs> all Super Bowl <laughs> really, really. All Super Bowl winners. Where are they so. Not? So, all okay. Super Bowl wins. So, if we're comparing him against his contemporaries, that means he's at the bottom of his contemporaries. Okay. No, he's not at the bottom of his I mean, Eli Manning's at the bottom of his contemporaries. You he's, can't put Eli at the bottom. Just because he's won two rings? That means Aaron you could, that means, that means you could uh, move up Dilfer then. No, you cannot. Why? He won a ring. So what? Now, I will say Phillip Rivers is better than Trent Dilfer. <laughs> He's better than Trent Dilfer. They didn't play at the same time, though. He's better than Trent Dilfer. I will give you that. It's all right, man. <laughs> okay, now here. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Time. So is Him or Joey Flacco? Him or Joey Flacco? Philip Rivers. Philip Rivers for sure. Yeah, Philip Rivers. I might, I might give you that one. I might give you that one. Flacco was a weak as well. Hit reject. But but now, Joe Flacco like won college, Yeah, man. but uh, uh, what, one thing I'm not, I'm I'm not saying that these players are better than him because they is won he, Super Bowl. Is, okay, is he equal to Dan Marino? Who? Phillip Rivers? Yeah. He can't touch Dan Marino. He Why? can't hold Dan Marino's jock strap. Why is that? Because Dan Marino could play. <laughs> Phillip Rivers can not, first <laughs> So you telling me that Phillip Rivers is better than Dan Marino? I'm, I'm saying, saying he's saying equal to. He's nowhere close to equal to. I'm no, saying he's, I'm saying say equal to. Thank you. He's not equal to Dan Marino. Why, why not, is he not? Because he didn't play in a Super Bowl. Are we going to that measure? It has nothing to do with the Super no, Bowls. We're talking I don't about. I care about the Super Bowl. Okay, so what? That, that's he, not my reason. I just think he's a much. Even though I do consider him to be a choke artist of legendary proportions. Oh, Dan Marino. But he did have, I mean, you know, he never had a running guy. Uh, then the Bills were so good for so long, he couldn't get past them. But you just look at the nuts. I mean, just look at the records that Dan Marino set that are the standard. I mean, you you can't compare him to Philip Rivers with a straight face. I mean, Philip Rivers is about close to them. And this All is in a records? completely different area. No, he was not close to him. I, I, I was close. Close. How many? Okay, so what? What records you talking about? Like, how many yardage? I'm talking about how Dan Marino set the standard. Okay. Touchdown passes in a season. Yes. Okay, that was that was just recently broken. It was broken twice, but it was just recently broken in the 2000s. Yes. Okay. Uh, just the pioneer that Dan Marino was in terms of throwing the football. Man, you had the game plan for Dan Marino. You don't have the game plan for Phillip Rivers. All you got to do is play man to man. He's going. You're going to beat him. You weren't you weren't saying that when LT and, and Antonio Gates and all of them were playing. You were not playing. They had anyway. one good year together. One. They went fourteen and two, and they lost to the Patriots. So even Marino, if you take that year out and say that's an outlier, what? The, the, so Marino's first year, nineteen eighty three, played eleven games. Nineteen eighty three. Nineteen eighty three. Not played Super Bowl 11 year. games, uh, started in 10 of them. Now, Super Bowl was the second season. Completed yeah, that the second one. Year. Yeah, that second season is amazing. Uh, completed 58% of his passes for 2,000 yards, 20 touchdowns, 6 That's picks. when he had the laces turned the wrong way. Uh, for the Rivers' first season, 
He came in for Breeze when they traded him. 16 games played, 208, uh, 61% completion percentage, 3,000 yards, 22 touchdowns, and nine Westman calls. Now, this right here is the one thing that I might have to disagree with you about. Marino's second season, that boy put up 64% completion percentage, nine yards of pass, 5,000 yards, 48 touchdowns, 17 interceptions. And this is in 1984. 108.9, one of the greatest single season performances in the history of the sport. This is sophomore season. season. Sophomore season. One season. Uh, Phillip Rivers, we're not going to read his second season because it's not going to compare. <laughs> it wasn't bad. It was 3,000 yards, 60%, 21 and 6, you know, but damn, Marino was outrageous. Marino's third year, 16 games played, 59%, through 30 touchdowns, 21 picks. Quarterback rating of 84. Next. If you want to compare him to a Hall of Famer, the closest one you could probably compare him to is Brett Favre. This sounds pretty wild. Well. This sounds pretty wild. Well. And, and I say that because they throw a lot of interceptions. The both of them throw a lot of interceptions. So they throw a lot of yards, yeah. and they throw a lot of interceptions. That's, that's why they're comparable, because they both throw a lot of interceptions, and they throw for a lot of yards. Hey, but Brett Favre would go win a game if he had the ball last. Philip Rivers does not. When Brett Favre had the ball last, you knew he was going to do one of two things. He was going to win the game or he was going to throw an interception. Philip Rivers, you know he's going to do one thing. He's going to throw an interception. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's going to do. I mean, I had a one-year fantasy. No, oh, you basing this on fantasy? No, he was a very disappointing. Because I had him one year, too. He was horrible for me. I mean, <laughs> never drafted him ever again. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, you are listening to the Garage Apartment. We are here each and every <laughs> we can Sunday talk night. About from the Archie's favorite school. We'll get to that in just a second. From 6 to 7 Central Standard Time. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And check out our website, thegarageapt.com. You can also hit us up live, 832-413-2013. Hit us up. Let us know what you think about it. Is Philip Rivers a Hall of Famer? Is he overrated? What do you think about it? Hit us up. Let us know. Most interceptions. Number one, all time. Brett Favre. We know who that is. Yeah. Brett Favre. We'll go down. George Blander, John Haley, Vinny Testaverde, Frank Tarkson, Norm Sneed, Johnny Unitas, Dan Marino, eighth overall. <laughs> Peyton Manning, number nine, Y.A. Tittle, Jim Hart, Bobby Lang. Shout out to Bobby Lang. Dan Fouts, Eli Manning, number 14, Drew Brees, number 15, Warren Moon, John Elway, John Brody. Who is that? Ken Stabler, Joe Namath, Bobby Pearl, Terry Bradshaw, Joe Ferguson, Steve Grogan, Drew Bledsoe, Steve DeBerg, Sammy Barr. Dave Craig, All them dudes Jim are better Parkin, than Philip Rivers. Kerry Collins. Then we get to Philip Rivers. Seven Kerry Collins. I can't and give him that. <laughs> right after Philip Rivers is Ben Roethlisberger with one less interception in his career. All those dudes you named are better than Philip Rivers except for Kerry Collins. I can't put Kerry Collins up there. Kerry Collins is no. I would definitely beg to differ, but half, but not half, a couple of them I do not know who they are. But I'd say Philip Rivers is equal to, or I'd say he's better than Dan Fouts. Uh, no, no. Philip Rivers and Ken and Stabler. Man, man, go home. Thank you. He ain't never seen Dan Fouts play. That's I've, why he's I've, saying that. Philip Rivers is not. Off. It's a reason they say man, Dan Fouts is the best San Diego Padre, Padre, San Diego Chargers quarterback ever. Now that Philip Rivers plays for the L.A. Chargers, it's still the same. But no, Dan Fouts, stop it. First off, Dan Fouts finished playing in 87. Was better so than no, Stan I did Humphreys. not see Dan Fouts play. Who wasn't better than Stan Humphreys? Dan Fouts wasn't better than Stan Humphreys? You better hush your mouth. Stan Humphreys. Humphreys. You, Humphreys. You, you getting your Stephen A on right now. You just be, no, you're getting Humphreys. your Skip Bayless on whatever, right now. Whatever you, I'm just using your, Stan Humphreys went to a Super Bowl. Yes, he did. Yeah. I told you Super Bowls have nothing to do with it. That's not why I'm putting them in front of Philip Rivers. I'm putting them in front of them because they're better players than him. Dan Fouts has never thrown less than 10 interceptions in a season. Yes. Man, right. that was in the 70s when you could bump a receiver all the way down the field. You can throw him totally to the ground. Moves, man. I mean, and all he had. It didn't hurt his yardage. And then all he had it was a tight yards. end. He putting up 4,800 yards. Seasons. He literally like, only had a tight yards. end. He only had a tight end. No, 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 no. He had Charlie Joyner. He had uh, West, uh, West Chandler. He had some great receivers himself. But uh, he made that was them a better. whole different set of rules. Mm. Everybody. 
everybody threw a bunch of picks in. That's why you see the names you see on that list you just made. Right. Exactly. All right, hey, Philip Rivers is trash. Everybody in the world is better. So now we not going. Nobody said he was trash. That's what. Right. Nobody. No, I didn't say he was trash. I said he's overrated. He's not. He's not. Stop it. So what is it? And look, I will tell you this much: if Philip Rivers is a Hall of Famer, if Philip Rivers is, if Philip Rivers is a Hall of Famer, Eli Manning is a Hall of Famer. Oh my God. If Philip Rivers is a Hall of Famer, Eli Manning is a Hall of Famer. Eli Manning has more Super Bowls than all other quarterbacks. Even though he lucked up to two if Philip Rivers is a Hall of Famer, Eli Manning is a Hall of Famer. Now, if you don't believe that Eli Manning is a Hall of Famer, then you certainly can't believe that Philip Rivers is one. You can't. <clears throat> I mean, two hot weeks can get you into the Hall of Fame. You just said no in his era, you just said in his era, he's between 8 and 10. I'm saying he's below 10. You're saying between 8 and 10. So if we're comparing him to his era, which is what he's going to be compared to in order to be a Hall of Famer, if you're 8th, if you're 8th, then Eli get in too. Where is Eli's Eli? not. I'm gonna say he ain't even the top. Because he, because because Philip gets in, Eli just has to get in. Even if you say Philip, I put it like this: If Philip is, if, well, where do you put Eli? You put Eli at, at seven? Maybe seven. Oh, Lord, seven. Eli. If look, oh, we can do eight. Eli's we can do top, eight A and eight B. Wait, Eli's top seven quarterbacks of all time. No, I no, I no, 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 no. Did you hear me say that? He's top seven quarterbacks of that era. I don't know. I don't think so, but I think that Eli is better than Phillip Rivers. So if you're saying eighth, then Eli has to be seven. So what I'm saying is Phillip Rivers needs to be 11 and Eli's 10. Even if Phillip Rivers is like 11, Eli's like 20. No, you're crazy. You're saying that there are 19 quarterbacks better than Eli in, that, in his era? In that, yes. You're that, out of your mind. You he, can't even name 20 quarterbacks from this era. And that's how terrible he is. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he's 500. There has to be 20. If it's 32 teams, there has to be 20 people be better than if he's 500. <laughs> Man, look here. Look here. That means he wins one, he loses one. Somebody has to be better than that. Has to be better than what? <laughs> Winning one and losing one. If he's 114 and won like 13. <laughs> Stop it! Listen, man. He won them when they counted first. Off. Oh, Jesus. Oh, but. Because he was the only one on the team. <clears throat> Dude, you yeah. keep saying that, that that's not what we're talking about. But we're comparing is, him that's, that's at the, the position. That's at, the com issue. at the position with the expectations of what your position is. No, I'm you not are expected to lead your offense. You are expected to win the game when you have the ball last. You don't get to say when you didn't win it, man. My receiver didn't catch the ball. Cool. Got no problem with that. So why we you keep bringing it up, man? Because he's the only one on the Eli team. Eli Manning. Eli Manning didn't win. A, Eli Manning won a game. We can't compare offensive Bowl. linemen. People don't know their stats well enough. In the Super Bowl with a bad pass, and now Eli Manning is the comeback kid. You can't. You can't. You can't compare offensive linemen. They don't keep offensive linemen stats. They don't keep up. Actually, with those. you can, and actually they do. But I'm not even talking about that. So what are you talking about? What are you talking I'm about? I'm saying giving him weight because he won a championship is Philip Rivers played with the giving Hall of Fame running back. Yes, he did. He won a championship is pointless. Like that's all I'm saying. Philip Rivers played guy. with Philip Rivers played with a Hall of Fame running back. Phillip Eli Phillip Manning played with with a Hall of Fame defensive line. Not with a Hall, Hall of Fame though. defensive line. His coach a lot of, was way a lot of them. A lot of them uh, playoff games. LT ain't play. You know how trash he is. Who? <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> Wade Phillips is, is, is regarded as one of the best defensive, defensive coordinators. Right. I Absolutely. did not say that was his defense coordinator. I specifically Wade Phillips said got me 24 points today. Oh, man, you better Shout look at you better Phillips, you better huh? check out Wade Phillips' record too as a Shout coach. Wade Phillips, huh? All the way to Minnesota. Anyway, days. I like how you stalling because you show sure trying to get I ain't ignored. Stalling, bro. Let's yeah, get into cause it. let's go ahead and let's talk uh, about. We it. can talk about them last. Let's talk about. Uh, I mean, last. we don't have that. Well, last. thank you. Well, what you want to talk about, sir? We we should talk about what is this bowl, this playoff going to look like? 
What you mean? Uh, was gonna look at Alabama it? took that L. <clears throat> Because now they have a bunch of, well, okay, forget the playoff. Uh, well, still, you still, who are you going to put in, Oklahoma? It's going to probably end up being. Who are you going to put in there? It's Georgia, LSU, Georgia. LSU's got the LSU, Georgia, Georgia Clemson, and probably either Utah or Oklahoma. Yeah. Either Utah or Oklahoma, which one's better? Which one are you going to put in? Probably Oklahoma. Does the Big 12 have a, a no, championship game? They, dude, trust me, they pick blue bloods, man. They're going to pick Oklahoma right over Utah. Utah ain't got a shot in hell. Why was the Utah was? They pick good. blue bloods. It's it's actually quite. It, Utah listen, plays Alabama. They in the Sugar Bowl. will not put them in the playoff, I even know, if I'm they deserve saying, it. I'm they will not. They'll put them in the New Year's. Whatever. Oh, they'll play in a Super Six. Yeah, in a in a yeah in a New Year's Six. Yeah, they'll play in that. Utah and Alabama. Yeah, and they'll probably win it. Utah will probably win it, which we've seen before. Remember when they went to the Sugar Bowl? Who was that they crushed in the Sugar Bowl? So with Urban Meyer was the coach. one win team comes from the SEC. It's basically what you're saying. And this time it happens to be Georgia. So Georgia's the one that gets. No, 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 no. Georgia. If they lose to LSU, they out. Okay. No, they're not. They're, they will be they have two losses. Said. They would need to be out. If Georgia loses to LSU, they will be out. Oh, right, okay. Oregon has one loss. But they have to play. They have to play. Uh, they have to a, play a Utah. Game. No, Utah has Who to has play. One loss. They play Utah. Right. So play Georgia Utah. plays what you call it. What you call it? Uh, Utah plays Oregon. Oklahoma plays uh, Baylor again. Baylor. Baylor and what? The Big 12 the Championship. Big 12 That's what they have one now? They, they, they had have to get one. one because they got left out two years in a row. They have Ohio one now. Ohio State year. and uh, nah, Big Ten's done. Ohio State's going to stay one because Ohio State should be one. LSU should be one, too, but ah, that's a trash. That dude, I'm, he needs to get fired. I mean, Oklahoma, if they be Baylor. I don't know Baylor, why he needs to get fired. He giving you nine wins a season. I guess I'm putting people it's in the It's going to be Oklahoma. Way. I tell you, it's going to be Oklahoma. It's going to be Oklahoma. Because Oklahoma's win, not going to lose to Baylor. If they beat Baylor, this, Baylor's number nine. So that would be a strength of schedule win on top of it. Georgia is ranked... Mod, what you think? Is he still? What about the uh, Georgia playoff? number four? Yeah. If Georgia wins, then that'll be. Oh, if Georgia wins, that'll be a little tough. Now, see, Georgia Man, wins. That's going to ruin everything Georgia. because you can't knock LSU out. You can't. Yeah, Especially you can't. LSU don't have to get that Alabama. Alabama. All right, so LSU would have to drop the four. <laughs> Georgia so moves up to move two. Up to two. Uh, uh, Ohio, Ohio State, State stays in one. Yeah. And Clemson had to be at three, uh, or or you can put Clemson at two, and Georgia at three, and let us you drop the four. SEC, just let Georgia win and get that bread, baby. Nah, man, you can't get that BCS bread. You say let them win. Nah, oh, man. man. If I'm a coach, do you know how much more money I get with an undefeated season than if I have a loss on my season? I know, I know. Nobody ever considers that part either. When right. Do you know how much you know, money? You know how many extra, how much extra money you get from being undefeated? Undefeated? What? Nobody takes no, nobody takes games. <laughs> that, 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 that that helps out the undefeated team. Doesn't at happen. The conference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh yes, it does. Family Anytime time. the conference can say we got a national champion, it helps the conference. Or uh, two people in a four, a four team playoff. That's that's. Well, truth be told, SEC has been able to say that for the past nine. Even years. When they should not what? have. Nine years? What are you talking about? Uh, that even when they teams lose, they find a way to get in the national championship. Uh, well, yeah. They had a two team, I mean a two loss team win the national championship. Like, come on, stop it. It's the SEC championship part two. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> part three, four. <laughs> We didn't watch Georgia, Alabama in the national championship game. We've watched LSU and, and Alabama in the in the, in the national championship game. Like, so, stop it. So, real quickly, do you have uh, Joe Burrow, the Heisman, or are we gonna do the Jalen Hurts? He he. I, I they think, have Chase Young over the fields. I think I think Chase Young over fields. He didn't Chase do nothing Young. Last game. Chase Young got 29 tackles, 14 sacks. Did he get any sacks yesterday? 
Mm -hmm. I don't think so. He he disrupted the game. Though. He disrupted. I will say this. I think that Joe Barrow might have played himself to the Heisman. I, I the past have to, three weeks. He's undefeated. I have to. The past three weeks. It's just going to be hard to give it to Jalen Hurts over Joe Barrow if you got an undefeated Joe Barrow who beat Alabama, uh, Texas, Auburn, Georgia. Georgia. Oregon. Oregon. <laughs> no, he didn't play Oregon. He played. Uh, Auburn, I beat Oregon. Yeah. Like, it'd be tough. It'd be tough to not give him the Heisman over Jalen Hurts. I can understand that. Real quickly as well, Charlie Strong fired at the University of South Florida. Yeah, that's. Oh, so sad. <laughs> so, so sad. So, so predictable. It makes, so, so it makes you wonder, though, what happened? How far they falling? And ironically, he took over for who? <laughs> Willie Taggart, who was also fired from Florida State. Oh yeah. Two brothers on the chopping line. Yeah, but no. About to go I back thought Trump solved that nice. black unemployment rate. But see that confused mm. that. It, <laughs> And you know, people you know, people be quick to say, Stop making it a race thing. I'm not trying to make it a race thing by any means. But does that not complicate things for black coaches now? Bro, no, it is but it's obvious if you mention one name and one name only. Because guess who still has a job? Tom Herman. He had to fire his defensive coordinator because the seat was so hot on him. The man has lot he's lost four games, I think, every year he's been there. Three yes. or four games every year he's been there. Yes. Charlie Strong, they didn't give him a chance to do that. Right. They didn't give him a chance. They don't give people, they don't give black coaches a chance to be mediocre or worse. You have to oh, come no, out they there don't. They and don't. be spectacular. And if you're spectacular, then they'll ride with you until you're not spectacular. But spectacular is not easy to sustain. Right. That's why it's spectacular. Ask Tyrone Willingham. <laughs> I know. I am right. <laughs> What you got to do is choose wisely, which you don't really have the opportunity because you don't have too many choices to choose from. But Mike Tomlin? Or you can go to HBCUs and recruit them same people. Yeah, They're not going to get them, though. Same people. That's Man, at South Florida, you could get South Florida people over there. But he's talking yeah, about after, no, you after they no, get you in trouble. You're not going to get those three-star recruits. And you're not going to get that one four-star recruit. To go to FAMU? It doesn't happen. After they get in trouble? It doesn't happen. To FAMU? FAMU's yeah. in Miami. No, FAMU's in Tallahassee. No, I mean Tallahassee. <laughs> but you're, they're not going. They would rather yeah. go to a school that would be in a conference than to go to that. You, South Florida is on yeah, ESPN I mean, every Thursday. South Florida, Central Florida, yeah. I mean, it's just, we wish it would happen, but it just won't. I mean, you're not even going to get one to... Uh, pick fam you over Jacksonville State, right? Or Furman. I mean, it just is what it is. Just that's in it. terms of uh. Follow the garage apartment. Oh, uh oh. Oh dang! <laughs> right, wrap it up, B. Wrap it up. Yeah. Issue with the Oscars. You know. Yeah, I was actually talking to somebody about that uh, online the other day. About they were talking about um, black colleges getting. Uh, you know, kids going, ah, oh, okay. Now, come on, finish it up, man. Doing it? Finish it up, man. The Are thing you? is, if they can get the two-star recruit, they'd be doing good. But the fact is, we can't even get zero-star recruit. They'd rather go to two -star. That's the problem. Absolutely. We have to leave it there, man. You are listening to the Garage Apartment. Shout out to North Shore. We are here each and every Sunday night from six to seven Central Standard Time. You live in Katy. That's North Shore. Yeah, that's gonna be crazy. And it's not gonna be that far off. It's just gonna be out Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Got some good stuff on YouTube, man. Y'all need to check that out. Also, check out our website, thegarageapt.com. Follow The Garage Apartment on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Brand new tweet, photos, videos. Let me share something real quick. Follow me on social media. And subscribe to The Garage Apartment Radio on YouTube.